Laura Wright is here. She <laughs> she knows I was late and for the. She's Emmys. always right. She's always right. I need I to listen have the to her. Last name. I, that's why she named herself Laura Wright. Yeah. No, uh, but what the, was I right about? You should have stayed in Pasadena. I was late for the Emmys and I should have stayed here. Uh, but let's talk about your work. <laughs> I just talked to Steve Burton. He said, "Yeah, she's like my new Sunny." You know because. <laughs> but those scenes with you and Steve Burton on your reel are so real and beautiful. I, I don't know what to say. It's It was probably my one of my favorite reels you've ever had. That's so funny, right? Which is like, really it hard so to subtle. say. Yeah, I, was a, I really didn't expect to get nominated. Even, so this is just a fun, because I did not expect the nomination at all. Right. Um, because I know the caliber of actors on my show, and I know the work they did, and I know the, the other actors, and I know the, the um, category. Um, and you know, you think you have to have like big, big, big story and, and big scenes. And so when I was putting my reel together, I, I found that I was really attached and loved the stuff that I did that was really simple and that um, affected me when I watched. And so I'm like, well, it's probably not going to be my year, but I, so I want to really put forth material that um, makes me super proud to be an actor. And not just on daytime, and I want to show that we don't have to do big, soapy, dramatic stuff. Name, yeah. That, that, that the subtle, beautiful scenes are important too. And so when I got the nomination, oh shit, sorry, shoot. When I got the nomination, I was um, I was so honored that that that, that subtleness came through to some people. So. Yeah. Oh my God. I was a I was a ball of mess. Oh, thank you. Well, I, I cried. I, yeah, that. It was so great. Uh, and then this competition, this category is really. It is. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. These yeah. are great. Oh, I love it. And you know, Mara West is one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually rooting for her. <laughs> I, we were texting last night, like, I love you, you're going to win, you're amazing. Did she um, say that to you? No, I said that to her, and then she said, no, I think it's yours. <laughs> we're like back and forth. Oh my God. So we both feel what that What if it way. would be a tie? Oh, I would be uh, so honored. I just love her, you know, and, and I am so grateful. I, I just, you know, I love all this. Uh, I'm so happy to walk the red carpet that someone cares to want to hear what I have to say. Well, what I love about you is that you're really here for the community. You're very part oh, of sure. daytime and you're not, you never are like, ugh, I'm not going to do that or not. No, you're part like, of it. What do you mean you're not going to ask me you're to do it? You're not going to ask me to do it. <laughs> Right? Well, when they asked me a couple years ago to present by myself for lead actor, I almost cried. I'm like, me? You want me? And remember, I was like, I, know. I, you know, I couldn't. So I, I, I'm grateful that I still feel that way. I woke up this morning and I told Wesley, you know, um, I'm so proud and so excited for this day just because of the journey, the preparation, talking to you on the red carpet, laughing with people that I see. It's just such an honor such to be here. Such a great day. Well, it has to be about that because at the end of the day, we have no control about. We have what's no gonna control what's going to happen under that. Uh, Carly coming up, she's pregnant. Yeah, I'm not. Were you like? Yeah, I know. People everyone, think you're pregnant. Everyone, she's I had not pregnant. Members, by the way, call me. Are you pregnant? I'm like. Did no. they call up right away when the story yes, happened? And I said, and I would never announce it on. Um, on TV on the roll. On TV or on social media without calling like my family. I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant. What do you think of that part of the story, though? I think if they tell the story of what it would be like for a 48-year-old woman to have a baby, and that, and they started to, you know, when she found out that, you know, do I even want to be right. mom again? Be like mom all again. that stuff is really big and important, and and it's story. You know, I'm not trying to say I'm I'm the uh, morality police of like anything, but I I think if we, if we don't have the hurdles and bring the reality of the struggles of life and the humanity, then why are we here? Right. I, mean, I don't. I don't. Well, we all can't be nice and doing the right thing. That's just BS to me. Well, we can't wait to see how it plays out. All right, Laura. I'm going to the bar. Have a wonderful time.